Anthony Davis was a pain-free scratch. You heard me, ladies and gentlemen, a pain-free scratch for the Los Angeles Lakers as they played the second of a back-to-back in Houston against the Rockets. And for some odd reason, Houston's been playing really good ball of late, and they had no problems with the Lakers. Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green knocked down threes. Then KPJ attacks the rim. Houston's already up 14 on the purple and gold, and it would get worse. In transition, though, Lakers try to make a run at this thing. It's Austin Reeves up top to J.J. Lone Walker, who's finding some minutes back in the rotation with all the Laker injuries. Other end, though, how about Alperin Shingoon? He's really been the brightest of spots for the Rockets this season. D'Angelo Russell's going to miss a three. It's not about the missed three. It's about what his follow-through does to KPJ's eye. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but he slashed KPJ wide open couple stitches kpj will return to this game and he will put in some work loose ball guess who comes up with it i can still see that rock kpj throws it down and then kpj working the pick and roll to perfection up top we go is kenyon martin jr for show left hand me please rocket still in full control more alleys if y'all not gonna guard me i'm gonna just keep rolling to that rim another deuce by Kenyon Martin Jr. Lakers will cut the deficit as low as five as Gabriel scores, but that is as close as Los Angeles would get in this one. Green, a corner tray ball is money. Shingun, little boy day tomorrow, chest to chest, man to man is what you put in the gym versus what I did. And Shingun said, I like my chances against the Lakers without AD. And to cap things off, it's all one-eyed KPJ. <laughs> oh, man. Two of his 27 points, nine boards. The Rockets beat the Lakers 114-110. Lakers now two games below 500. The Stars were out in Los Angeles. Literally out. And some Stars were in. Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers hosting Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. Both these teams could desperately use this win as the play-in tournament nears. Kyrie put Dallas in a position early to do just that. Irvin was sensational in the first half of this one, knocking in the three over AD. Dallas will go up 11 in the third. Look at Irvin putting on the show. It's like art when this man plays basketball. 65-54. It's Irvin stopping, popping, and pulling. Three of his 38 points. It's the NBA, though. Everybody makes a run, especially the Lakers when they got Anthony Davis and some of these new weapons. AD inside. Malik Beasley on the same type of time. Lakers cut the deficit down to six. But here's that man again, Kyrie Irvin. He never has two buckets that look the same in a basketball game. Dallas back in control. Lakers got a response, though. The floater is good from Austin Reeves. And then how about the big fella, AD? Maybe got away with a travel. It wasn't called. Davis puts it in. He had 26 points and 10 boards. Schroeder with a floater of his own. Lakers up five, looking to put this one away. Irvin and Dallas got something to say. His floater is good. AD, sometimes you got to go with what you know. He buries that patented jump shot. Lakers up four in the closing seconds for some odd reason. Anthony Davis fouls Maxi Kleber on a three-pointer. With seven seconds left, Maxi goes to the line, makes all three free throws. Lakers would then go one of two from the line, which means Dallas is down by two in the closing seconds. They double Kyrie. Anthony Davis, for some odd reason, plays off Maxi Kleber, and that was a mistake. Maxi Kleber buries the Lakers at the buzzer. What a shot. Battled through injuries to get back to this Dallas team at this point in the season to help them make a playoff run. It's moments like that that make the grind worth it. The Lakers suffer a devastating loss by one on their home court as Maxi buries them at the buzzer. That's a bad loss from the Los Angeles Lakers to the Dallas Mavericks. I'll give you that. 
But the biggest headline out of Los Angeles this week is now that we are at a point where Anthony Davis doesn't play back-to-backs. He just turned 30 last week. That is the new revelation out of Los Angeles. A 30-year-older will no longer play back-to-backs, according to Lakers head coach Darvin Ham. This is an absolute disaster if you are a Lakers fan. AD's body has bailed on him so much, he will no longer play back-to-backs. Again, against the Houston Rockets, AD had no pain. He was pain-free. He said it himself, but the Lakers still sat him because they played the Pelicans a night before, and now Anthony Davis no longer plays back-to-backs. This is a disaster. That's the biggest storyline coming out of Los Angeles this week. Not the fact that the Lakers lost to the Dallas Mavericks, even though Anthony Davis had an abysmal late game foul that your star player just can't do. He was hanging around with the the Lakers already doubling Kyrie Irving. Anthony Davis was caught in no man's land and left Maxi Kleber, a shooter, open for three, and he buries the Lakers at the buzzer. Look, I don't know if the Lakers will make the play-in tournament. About a week ago, I thought that they would, and I actually thought that they would have a home game, meaning they'd be like a seven or eight spot in the play-in tournament. Today, I'm not so sure. The news around LeBron James is not good. He's set to be evaluated in the upcoming days. Apparently, LeBron James is not close to playing basketball right now. It might be an additional two or three weeks. I'm not so sure if LeBron will be ready for the play-in tournament. That looks to be his goal, though. His regular season most likely is over. But LeBron James has held this league down for 20 years, and there have been a couple years in the midst of this Lakers run where LeBron James was healthy, the Lakers were in the playoffs, mostly off his back. So, yes, I'm sorry, a 38-year-old cannot continue to carry the league and the team that he's on. This was for Anthony Davis. The Lakers have enough weapons to be able to beat the Houston Rockets, to be able to beat the Dallas Mavericks without Luka Doncic, without LeBron, Anthony Davis should be good enough. He should be able to play back-to-backs. That shot not be that taxing on his body at the age of 30. What is going on? <laughs> 